in Hollywood, we know that you know that changes happen all the time. The industry changes a lot, from writers to uh, actors, actresses who get in certain roles. What do you see uh, is the biggest change right now from where you, what you do in Hollywood? Um, right now, what, what, do you, what do you see is the biggest thing that changes when it comes to the writers? Well, I think a lot of the great writing is happening in television. I think that so much of what the studios are putting out uh, in movie theaters is uh, comic book movies and franchises and big blockbusters and a lot of the smaller adult movies, dramas, and you know, kind of smaller comedies are getting lost in the shuffle. So I think a lot of those talented writers, a lot of really talented actresses of a certain age, a lot of talented actors are turning to television for sort of a great place for uh, well-written shows, well-written characters, deep, compelling uh, concepts and ideas. Um, uh, it's just too much about Hollywood is about getting that 18 to 24-year-old male that opening weekend to get him, him and you know, get their butts into the seats. And that's why I'm proud to be part of Addicted because it is a grown-up movie about a grown-up woman with a grown-up problem. And for a studio to release that kind of movie and a, and a diverse cast, um, it's just it, it's rare these days. So you know that sort of thing might end up on TV or end up as a cable movie. So I'm very excited that they took a chance on Addicted and released it. It's, it's done very very well in theatrical release, and I, I hope that. You know, that change, you know, helps change things when movies aimed at adults, aimed at women, uh, you know, not just the 18 to 24-year-old males, but other segments of the movie going public who enjoy a great movie, who want to see interesting characters and, and uh, kind of dimensional dramas unfold on screen. Um, but I would say that's the biggest change is, is just the real blockbuster mentality of the studios, that they don't make the smaller films the way they used to, and a lot of the interesting writing work is uh, being done on television. Any other, do you have any more screenwritings that we need to know about that you're a part of, any movies, TV shows? Uh, nothing right now, just uh, if, if only, as I mentioned before. I think people can catch that on, on Netflix, uh, Amazon, iTunes. Uh, it's on, you know, any, you can, it's on, it repeats on TV every so often. Uh, it's a really, it's a great movie I'm really proud of. Uh, it's a supernatural love story about a couple that gets a chance to relive a day when one of them dies. So it's a real tearjerker. It's a great date movie. Uh, and Addicted is my second credit. Uh, I've sold a lot of scripts. I've remained a working screenwriter for uh, since 1998, uh, but haven't had anything else produced yet, but working on the next gig, working on the next product, and uh, hoping I'll be talking to you again soon about my next movie in theaters. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Come yeah, I know I will. Yeah, I will. You, 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 you um, try to keep me away. It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I always ask my guests this um, because I think it's very important for the guests who I interview you know, in the land that they work in, that for people who are inspired to do what they do are currently in their field to hear um, what the guests particularly say about what it took them to get to where they're at. So if you can come up, if you could tell uh, the listeners what your three keys to success would be or uh, what your three keys to success is, what would that be? Uh, I would say number one would be persistence. Uh, don't give up. Keep at your dream. Don't let statistics deter you. Uh, there of the 250 films that were written, uh, there were the 200, uh, sorry, 250 top films at the box office in 2013. Only 10% were written by women. So if any female screenwriters are listening, uh, you would be deterred by that statistic. So don't let numbers uh, deter you. Say that rule doesn't apply to me. That's I'm just going to keep going forward and do what I need to do. So I would say persistence. Uh, I would say number two, hard work. This is. Uh, you know, it's a creative endeavor. It's an artistic endeavor, but we forget sometimes it's a lot of hard work, too, because when we enjoy it and we're writing, it's fun, but it is also very, very hard work. So be prepared to work very hard. And number three, remember that it's a business. And more than ever, we need to be do-it-yourselfers. Uh, you can have an agent. You can have somebody submitting you for assignments, as happened with my reps when they submitted me for Addicted, and that worked out for me. But I'm also 
always networking, always trying to reach out and make new connections and new contacts, looking for new material, new ideas. Uh, you get to treat it like a business. Uh, you can be uh, in love with this wonderful idea. You're writing the screenplay, but at the end of the day, you're thinking, okay, who's the, who's the market for this? Who's the target audience? Who can I get the script to? What's my next idea? So always remember that it's a business, and, you, and you're your own corporation. You know, you're, I'm, I'm Christina Welsh, screenwriter, LLC. I mean, not technically, but that's how I have to treat myself. I wake up every day. I'm the CEO of my corporation. I have to remember, how do I advance my career? How do I get to the next level? How do I get the next project out there? So persistence, hard work, and remembering that it's a business.